hi guys in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a crude operation using dot string Just perform create from create to create to the database update database remove and what and no crude we have a crude we have C for C for creating R for retrieving U for updating and D for delete to using what using dot string using dot string now let's start by creating a new pro new project let's come down to new year then sell the project so now we are setting an application because it requires us to write to write a code so now come to now let's name it the crude so we name the the application name as well as crude now let's click on create so now the next thing now for us was to install what the db connection modules which will be provided for us let's come down to import import the, the modules and then we'll come back to where we'll select the location where we save the modules here I'll come down to module here because when you download the file this wall is going to show you then I'll come down to module folders and select the type of as you can see we have at module module we have db connection module we have a file module we have a http secure module and the first mode is used when you want to secure our application with what with um with anti anti forgery so we don't want it to be accessible to, uh, without verifying the what the anti forgery token now since we are working on the database we are using what db connection module now let's click on db connection module so it's going to show us now show us what module imported that means that's what it has imported the what the module so the next thing is for that let's come back to what the hub resources now now let's make use of our words our library you want to use our words using then we we'll use our dot stream dot dot data so all the class which which make use of is what so that dot stream dot 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 this is under dot stream data namespace so so once we call this using dust data so we can have access what to retrieve all the, the interface and what and the classes which we want to make it so now let's come down towards to control control our here yeah so let's now what let's now retrieve our what our uh let's work with the database using what using high data interface so in the description below i'm going to show in this video i will drop a link where you download and read about using ds ds sql and dot stream dot stream query which make use of it and the classes and the interface are there the examples are there so you can come and copy and paste it here so now we are using what we are using idp command interface so let's name it command because this is where we communicate what we did database now let's so now let's create the whole the, the the constructor of our words of the class let's create the, the, the constructor now we have our default default controller controller so it takes what i configuration as as i give me the parameters i configuration is the main configuration So, so because uh, DB, this if you make use of us, all these parameters which you are using, as uh, which you are using in you know, the construction, so it means when the application runs, all this is going to work, is going to initialize it for us. So we are just calling it here to make use of it. So now let's create a new instance of what of the command. Now let's create a new instance by using what the DB command. So using configuration, so it takes two parameters. So it takes two parameters configuration. So it takes two parameters: the configuration and what and the boolean type, which means are we closing the words, the 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 connection, or want it to to if for each 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 tag wants it to to open the connection or want to work that's what the bullet type means so i i use true because i want it to leave it open open then after the whole the whole operation is good what is going to close it down for us 
so the db conjunction takes we have uh, uh, take two arguments as well so i have the one that takes all string and the boolean type that string is what the word the connection string the connection string to the, to the database but here now we are using what i configuration i configuration yes what has the parameter so now let's create let's let's use this index file for what to what to take the inputs so now now let's come down here so let's create our look first let's create i want the the preview so let's use the the tools here let's come down to because it should be a form let's come down to our plugin now let's use a form you have a form bootstrap here so we have so this is our form now let's quickly design it and let's see let's quickly design it let's quickly design it so we want to create a database that will that take name and what and and h as a what as an input answer now let's put it as as a name and let's put that word so that's my name and let's put our as well as the h now so now now i want to bind the words the the view here with what's with the controller so we have to we want to transfer the data which which the name which user input we have to transfer it all to the controller so let's create our module let's execute our class let's create our, let's let's name it data module because we want it to what we want it to what we want it to to transfer the word the 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 data from what from the view down to here so now let's see now all the data we have we need a public class because we want it to work to everyone to have access to it that's why we make it a public class we are using string because we are taking a word a name which is text right then we name its name then we give it a word a property of what get and set that means we can get it and what and set it as well then it's probably because we are getting the h which is the number then i'm using what int is h let's also get it and set as well so we can get you to retrieve and also set as well so now now let's now come down to the view now let's come down to the view let's add the name you know you know we use what we use so we must we must use the same name with what with the name of here which we use here it must be the same now we have our name i'm sorry but we have to use the name attribute which is what this name then here to have to use what a name attribute which is what which is what h so now let's change here to what let's use text and here to let's use what let's use text now so the next thing for us was to create the word the action which is the link which we wanted to to send the data to so now let's come down here since we wanted to create our what our database so now let's come down here let's let's create a, a route and which word will bind you with the more so to with the with the a method now let's first say the word the method which we are using what in accessing this word this route and we want to use what http post because we want it to go to go on a, on a post on a, on a post method so now let's create a route name for it so as to route it now i'm using so now I'm using what default slash what create now. So now I'm going to what I'm going to specify the words. The I'm using action results short what to show my what my view page because I want it to show my view after everything has been done. So then name it what create. Name is create. So now I want to let's bind it by using what a bind attribute. We want to use the bind to avoid over posting by using what bind attributes. So now, so the name of the of the properties which we're using what's in the, the mode. You know, I said we want to use the mode to transfer the data to what to the controller. Now you know how we make it of name and what we make it of what each. So we make it of what data model let's name it molded so now let's open it and write our words 
I'm going to look up, look up variable. So now let me, now let's just return, return. So how do you want it? Do you want it to, it will redirect or return to a specific page? So now let's just return what? To let I want it to return to to a view. That means to the view to the to the page under this this view. Let me specify the name. I want it to, to return my index index view. So I want it to, to return my index view. So next thing I have to do was to create my word my to to create to insights to the word to the to the database. Now let's use the query. Let's use the HTML query, which is what which is add we are using the hard keyword then you want to, want to add the name which always has the word as an identifier which is the word the, the ads as an index they want it to want to hide my name and the h into what into what let's name it a new table so that is what the database name now so once we want to add name h into what into this table so this query will check if the if the table exists in the in the database but if it doesn't exist it's going to create the table and insert but if it does exist it's going to it's going to insert what the values so it's going to create the create the words the values based on what on the on the input values based on the data type of the the input value so that's what it's going to use to create the, word, the database and the columns so now, now let's make it our, our db value so this is the words Keep our, our values. The values. So, so this is where we keep our, our values. So now, now let's add the values into the DVD values. Now let's see. Let's do our model dot name. I want to add the name. Okay, my, my value dot add. So I have my model dot what dot h. Let's see. So now let's now what? Let's now command the, the the database that wants you to to power to perform the what the query which we use and what and use the the data as well. So now let's see. By using command dot, we are using a, a execute execute query because using execute query is used for when we want to work, when we are, when we are working with what we are using hard add keyword we are using modify delete and drop that's when we use our execute query but for execute reader we only use it for for select when you are using select query we want to select from database that's when we make it about the execute query so the execute reader sorry the execute query doesn't return anything so it's a, it's a bold method so it doesn't return anything so now let's make it our so it takes two parameters the query and what and db value so now we've created what here so so me what is not going, going to show me because I've, I've already what i've installed what anti forgery token so it's not going, going to show it's not going to access so afterwards for this example now i'm going to ignore the anti anti forgery and let's use anyway ignore anti forgery you know anti forgery Okay now, so I want it to. I don't want it to validate it and the voice you're talking because I've already installed. So, in I'm going to going to show you the code. I'm going to write the code in the description list, which you use and what to validate what the the uh, anti forgery token because we are creating our, our custom view. By the beginning, we are, we are using all this folder here, so we don't need to want to to write any code for what for anti forgery. So now let's proceed now. So now I said I wrote a, I wrote a query, query that I wanted to add to the database. It doesn't exist. It's going to add. It doesn't exist to create database and what and add to it. So now let's use the, the DB values to what to keep our what our values now. So we use what command execute what the query to execute the query for us. So now now we've already created. So we now come down to where we want to make use of it. See our form. You know, we have the action attributes which take you want to the default slash create. I also have a method which is what which is post method. So we are using a post method to that I make it a word 
my HTTP post here, my attribute which is HTTP post. Then we'll make use of what the post for to send the, word, the request. So now this is what we now let's show the word. The I want to show hands. So let's show if probably there's there's any error. I want it to to display the error for us. The test. Let me see the text danger. If there's any error, or we want to we want to show so we want it to 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 notify our client that what our user that what the 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 data has been has been saved. Now let's use our our our, our VDP data to transfer the what to transfer the to transfer the results. Now let's use results. Let's use let's use save save. So now let's come down to here and let's let's make use of it here. Then by calling our view data, which is what results. So now let's build our mod and let's and let's build it on and let's view it on browser. So when accessing it, that was you are using it what by accessing the default because we oh, everything is was in what's an index file of default folder. So now let's refresh the page and let's see <coughs> so, so it's going to show us this uh, this uh, this is our index file index page here so it's going to show us to, now let's use example let's use the file and have the name of what probably one to five let's click click on submit so as you can see now you see short save time it means what has already saved it let's Try, let's try an example. Let's use AT H. Let's try. So it's sorry, what it has saved it in our in the database. So we've, we've done with what with correct remaining what retrieve. So retrieve without to view the words just inserted now. So I, so now let's create the page here. Let's come down to dot stream. Let's so now let's create the VBA as name public using the action action result that means we want to display the words the view I mean the the, the page let's use view data or let's just retrieve retrieve so let's just return so I want it to return the words the view page now. Let's just run the view. So we'll now come down to here, we'll create then we'll create our words. We'll create the words. Let's create the words, the page here. So then come down to file. Then we'll have to name it the same name with what the method here, which is retrieve. Which is retrieve. which is retrieve so I think there is spelling error here this is to retrieve here so because it, the name has to be the same word with the words with the file name so now let's now let's quickly use the drag and drop and let's view it let's see we are making use of what our table Let's mix up our table. So this is our our table here. So I want to show what. Let's want to show the name. The name. The age. And let's use what. Let's have the delete action up. So that we can delete it. And let's have what to show the what the same number. So, so now let's write a method. Let's write. A function to what to return what the list of what the list of what of of the following now now let's use a what we are using a what a query because we want to query the, the database to what to select all the data from us so now let's use select we are using select all these are what DS SQL 
slash all slash all from what the the database which is name table so it's, so it's going to slash for us so this is what to make sure about our execute execute reader now let's get the result here now using my command my command dot execute execute reader which will want to execute what the query so that's going to return the value for me and let's make it a what the result so now I've 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 placed it in what in a what in the view method because I wanted to I wanted the view to uh, to return the, uh, the the result. So the next thing for me was just use my use my model to what to get the words the values. So now let's now let's proceed. Now let's make use of what we are using our words our result syntax. Let's I want to make this of my int because I wanted to get the number of words of the words the the data i wanted to show me so i don't need here because i want to i want to loop it so that to get the whole data for me now let me make the word uh, for each loop a variable let me name variable data in what in my word in my model now so it's it's going to bind the what the result rewards with it with the model so now let's see I want my words, my height words to be. I want it to, to, to be increasing. So now let's now let's make use of it. Let me make use of my height. So my height. So let's make use of my what my data dot name. I want it here to show the name, and I want it here to what to data dot h. Now you have my what my delete link. Now let me let me create the delete link. Let me create the delete link. Let's use class. Let me use delete engine. So delete. So now I'm done with with here now. So the next thing from what to view it and let's see how it's going to look and let's see how it's going to show me what. The whole that's going to re re retrieve it for me now. Come to default here, then I'll search what to retrieve. Retrieve <clears throat> so as you can see now, so it shows me the word the name as you can see the name, I want the hedge, everything which I want, which I created using the words using the create. So it's going to show me, yeah. So I'm done with what with the view. We mean what the delete because there's no any anything here. So we've done with what we retrieve. So we, we retrieve it from what from the, the the database. So the next thing was what but this one is all to update now. So now let's update and let's create a, a method and map it. Let's let's create a public. I action because I want it to resolve to return my words my view. Then I name it update because the update I want it to what to retrieve. Huh? Now let's start with the update. Yes. So let's create the rules for the for the what update because you know we need to retrieve. So we need to get the the, the our condition data. We need to get the data which which we use. As well as condition to, to update that particular particular post or content. So now let's use yeah, let's use a default a default. Then I name it what update slash also. I want this word to I want it to, to get my word my age because we have to what we have to use the age to get what the exact content which which you want to update. So now I'm gonna use our int h. Now let us return. I want it to return what? Turn the v page. So let us redirect. I can redirect it. I want it to redirect to what? To the view. That is the default. So to retrieve. 
So next thing was was let's now write a query that will that update it from what from data. We are using the word a modify keyword. That's the word. That's the DSHMN which you use to what to modify your words, your your data. And let's just modify. Then we want to modify the name. We want to modify the name. We are using the by identifying using the identifier. Modify from what the table name, which is a new table now. Then the condition where what where my age is one to identify to what to two. So now here yeah, say what modify what I want to modify the name using the word the age as well as the condition. But the problem of this modifying we cannot well, we cannot modify the the, the 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 column which we use as what as the words as the condition. So we don't use so we don't update it. We only update the one that we don't use as what as the words as the condition. So probably the later version yeah, to support so we'll try and look into it so now let's command the word and this is our value to import now there is our word our db value so any time you have a value to import then we'll make our word our db value our db value object so add so let's add values which we want to use now we want it to what so okay sorry before we modify sorry that's a mistake here sorry the first thing we will need what to let's select the words in the particular post for us to modify so here yeah, use what select you can use select hall can use select the number but since we are only using uh, we want to get it with the condition so let's just select all from what select all from the table name that is the table name is what new table where my words where my age is equal to what one which is the word to identify it now let's use now let's let's use the result and then the results will not be what let's command I'm mean, using our to the command the database dot so using what execute execute reader because we want to read it then using the query okay we need what to put it in a word in a in a db value let's have our db value my new db value So I have to what add the name to what to the to the well, I have to add the age to it because you, you cannot use it that the, the value directly you have to put it inside what inside the the value object so now let's see because I want to to, to only to, to retrieve only the first so let me use the what the the links extension to method which is first or what or default so, so it's going to show me the first or default. Now let's let's return the view, which is result. So I want it to to return this this particular information to the view. Now let's create. We have to create a word, a file, a page of the same with the word, the the update now. Now let's create a file, HTML package in HTML file. And then we use the word update because you have to use the, the same name to the update. So now let's copy the code we're using what in 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 import that means to create let's use it to update it. So now let's copy and paste it here. So in a to retrieve, you know you say we, we we want to get it to the model because you know we are using the model to transfer the words. The, the data now first to get the name let's use our, 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 our value we want to set it as the value by using what I using resolve syntax which is at then what our money dot, dot name because we have the name then what then value money dot what dot h so 
it's going to what to choose the particular name and the word and the age for us since we don't need any result here okay let's make use of the result as well because we want it to show us if the the, the the operation is successful or not so now let's proceed now let's create a function that what that updates the what the that take take the input and what and update it now let's let's use so the reason our http the first thing you have to do because we've installed anti anti forgery so it won't go you have to ignore the forgery first because this is just a, 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 a tutorial let's ignore anti forgery so it's going to anti forgery token so now we are using what our http http post because we want the action to what to be post using form then now let's now route link to to the uh, to the root uh, to the view sorry by using what my default slash or slash updates so let's use the same update and let's bind the input now by using what by using bind bind attributes so we are binding the name and the age together binding the name and what and the h now so now let's name that what updates sorry so you have to specify the the, the model which we are finding let's just model and let's see so now let's for what let's write what the query so let's write the query because we want to modify let's write the modify query so let's modify I want to modify my what my name only my name and we want it to, to update the name from what from the, the, the database name which is new table where what where the condition this condition you want it to what to modify where the word age is what it's true so now let's what let's command and then let's since we are since we are using the values we want to input the values so let's make that what our db db value yeah my new db value So let's add it to the db values. So the first value will be what will be the name model dot name and what the, the value dot add. Then I say model as well for h. So now let's now command the database using using execute query. That means to execute the, the query execute query so now i want to execute this query uh, query now what's using the value so all these things also is going to prevent what sql injection so there won't be nothing like sql injection so now let's return let's use the v data to return to our to our our client or our user that what are successful now let's see now let's just update it so now after the 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 uh, after that's uh, that's updated now, now let's now let's now specify where we want it to redirect us back so we would like it to, to redirect us back towards to the world to the v page uh to the yes to the retrieve page so now let's now just return then redirect redirect what default we we'll specify the what the, the route default retrieve retrieve now so oh sorry oh sorry sorry that mistake here sorry these are what uh -huh. so now this sorry 
public so it was a mistake using the high action results so now let's now let's let's move on towards um the page now so now let, let's make our, our default update now you can copy it by present control c let's go on to update page because we want it towards to change the action now let's paste it ah. now let's let's build it and let's view it through the browser now let's come down to default Let's, let's, no. let's refresh here. No, no. Before we refresh, let's come down to let's specify our 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 edit here now. Let's specify it. Here. So now let's provide a link which is going to link us to what to the edit. Now we have in our href now. We have in the default which is the link which is the the route to the what to the to the updates. By specifying what you have to specify using a result data, a result syntax. By specifying what that means we are using our word, our hedge to what to update it by using what the dot h. So here too, cannot use the a now. So now we are using our what our data dot h. That we are using our age as what to what to update the values now. Now let's let's click on, on B, let's proceed so let's retrieve let's refresh let's refresh our archive page so as you can see now it's going to show us the what the list table here which is going to show us the link to where we update the name by using what the H. So now let's click on on the link and let's update it. So you know, as I said, like we can only update the name. So we cannot update what the H because we are using the H as what as the condition. So now let's let me change it to what. Let me change it to what university. Let me change this to Adeyemi. Add the bio now. Let's click on submit. So, as you can see now, it has what has updated the voice. Sustained what Yemi add the bio. So, you've seen that we have achieved our what our create, our retrieve, and our update. So, it remains our what delete. So, how we can delete it from what from the database now let's come back to the studio let's now create a what a database may uh, i delete route it is route yeah now let's let's use our oblique i action here's our i action results but we are creating now let's okay let's put our let's put the delete because you have to have what you have to have a condition before you can delete so if you are not specifying any condition it's going to delete everything in the database so you have to specify the what the condition which we, which we are using now let's let's create the routes the roads let's, let's create it here so now let's so we are routing it using the so we are, we are writing this particular method which was default slash delete doesn't specify what the age because we are deleting it by what using the age now so now let's let's call it the, the age using what we put the age here you can use anyone can use either small you can use any Now let's write the query, the, the delete query. Let's write the query. Let's see now by using what delete, delete, delete from what delete name. Let's let's 
delete the name no delete from sorry delete from what the table name which is what the table name is new table where what where the age is what so it's going to delete where the table where the table middle uh, where the h meet what the, the, the condition now let's now let's use data table because i'm having the data which i want i want it to, to, to go with the the execution of the, the, the value let's just new db value new db value so now let's see the words. let's add, add it to the value so let's add the age because that is what we are using as a condition to delete now let's now command the let's command using what execute using execute query so now let's use the query Words, my values. So after the new to, to return what to where to let's redirect it to what to what to the retrieve page. So now let's go to page. Let's use the default slash what to retrieve. So now after that's deleted, so it is going to what direct what to the to the what to the 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 retrieve page so now let's now let's add the one add the link to to the retrieve here so to the, to the button here we have what my default slash delete slash what using the one the data dot h because we are using the h as the what the data here so as you can see here now we have as you can see it here, I have my word delete here, you see, using the H. So that's why I I make use of it here. Is it what? There is. So now let's build it and let's, let's see it. So let's refresh the page. So show me, okay. Now let's, now let's rebuild it. Okay, so that should be server meters. So now let's refresh it. <clears throat> so it's going to show us this this page, uh, this a retrieve page, which which show the list. So now let's start deleting. Now let's check. Let's click on delete. So once we click on delete, so it it will delete the particular post with respect to what oh sorry it's showing me that what i don't specify what the the link name where so it says what it can't find the what the link to which is the the root so now let me so the mistake was from here so now let's let's save it and and build it again just wait for it to build it yes. now next is what to refresh what let's refresh let's go back and refresh and refresh the so refresh it mm, so this is so let's click on delete and let's see let's see what it's going to show us let's click on delete so that means if not okay let's 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 refresh it so So let's refresh the the retrieve page. So now we've refreshed it now. So now let's click on the red button and let's let's delete it. Let's see. So 
so so as you can see it now as you can see the task what has deleted it so now let's 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 delete all so now let's it all so as you can see now so i think we've achieved the, the crude operation which is the create retrieve update and delete as you see we can make everything easy with what with dot stream using dot stream you see how many lines of code wrote you, you see it's just only this query and what input the word the value that's what that's what we need to work, to work with a database so that's if we work with database what to make it was our db connection model because that is where that's what makes it easy for us so we have to install it first then then after then they will now start writing about our ds html query that's the query that it does stream provide for us so this query prevent us from what from sql injection you using dot stream so you don't have any problem or what of SQL injection. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube page. So I hope this tutorial helps you a lot. Thank you very much.